the face of this cedar chest is missing a piece of this little trim molding, little face detail right here. I need to make a piece of this. This is a half round trim, roughly three eighths of an inch diameter. I need a three foot long piece of this. So I've been thinking about how to do this. In the old days, they planed these out by hand with um, block planes. I don't have that kind of equipment here nor is it worth making a custom block plane just to come up with only three feet of this. So I've been thinking, how do I do this? Well, I got an idea. I'm going to make it out of a piece of three-eighths inch dowel that you buy commercially. I uh, have a three-foot piece of that right here. And the way I'm going to do it, I took a scrap piece of wood and I have cut a groove in that scrap piece of wood that is basically half the depth of that 3 8 inches and I'm going to take that dowel and I'm going to temporarily glue it into that groove and then I'm going to be able to run this along the fence in the table saw and cut half of the dowel away and what remains in the groove on this side will be the piece I need. I've made some cross cuts at locations here where I'm going to put my glue and the cross cuts are going to allow me after I do the whole thing to get in with a little chisel and go underneath and just sort of cut through the glue and pop that piece of dowel out. I'm going to glue this dowel into my jig using hot glue because hot glue is, if you do it right, it's not permanent and I'll be able to get the dowel out of there after I make my cut. All right, so here we go. Put these on so I can see what I'm doing here. I got to move fairly quickly because as soon as the hot glue cools it's no longer sticky. There we go. Lay this right in here. I've marked the vertical grain because I want the vertical grain to be upward. Push it into my groove. So it's just glued at those few spots. Put a block on there to weight it down. Maybe I'll put one on that end there. And that should be good. Wait a few minutes, take the blocks off, and then we'll try our cut. All right, I'm going to cut off half this dowel. shows up there but basically I sliced that little side off the dowel I didn't cut it quite flat to my board I'm going to take a bit of sandpaper and run it over that here and uh, just make sure that's nice and smooth and then I'll pop it out of the groove all right See if I can get this out. I 
I want to split it. It's okay if I ruin the jig, of course. bit of glue to clean off there. Splinters from the jig, but hey, it's a half round, three-eighths inch. I think it's going to work. In order to miter the ends of that piece of half round to fit on the chest, I made another little jig. It is simply two pieces of scrap wood that have been clamped in my bench vise. There's one piece there, another piece there. And I marked 45 degree angle both sides using my tri-square. Just took a pencil, marked the angle, cut the slot with my little back saw. That's the same saw I'm going to use to cut my trim. And that acts as a guide to hold the saw so that I have the right angle and I just lay the trim in there and we'll cut it by hand it's pretty simple I'll show you and these are just clamped together here in the bench vise I don't have to glue it or nail it nothing like that see to cut a mitered end on this little piece of 3 8 inch half round I made. I just lay it in my jig, hold it firmly with my fingers, and I use my little back saw to gently cut that off. There. Then I simply flip it around to the other end, lay it in the jig, line it up pretty carefully to my mark right there, and cut it again very gently. We'll see how it fits. Okay, let's see. Line this up. This end up right there. See this end over here. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Look at that. That's going to work just fine. Now before I attach this to the chest, I'm going to stain it. That's better done before than after.